Ashe Tribe and welcome back to my channel if you're an OG Hood Botanica Tribe member. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Nefra. I'm the creator and owner of the Hood Botanica platform where we discuss topics of African spirituality. We get into spirituality from a melanated perspective. As I say on Instagram, we get into the woo-woo, but I'm not your guru. And welcome to activate your 2020 vision boards, vision jars, and updating to a digital vision board with Canva and Pinterest over on the Hood Botanica. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love on our last video where we discuss Rose of Jericho care and usage. If you haven't checked out that video, click right here. I'm going to put a card and a link down below to the last video, part one and part two, because I'm going to be discussing a little bit on Rose of Jericho water in the future in this video so go ahead and check that out if you haven't already as always don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already share with someone on social media speaking of social media don't forget to follow us on twitter instagram and consider joining the inner court on patreon.com slash the hood botanica i don't know about y'all but I'm a little late to doing my vision board. There's been a lot going on at the top of the year. If you don't already know, we were featured on a podcast called A Little Juju Podcast, which you can search anywhere podcasts are available. And we've just been working a lot behind the scenes, especially with the YouTube video, catching up on order. So we, we a little late to the vision board party. I don't know if you are too. So since I'm late to the party, I figured I could show you how I create my vision boards, how I feel about physical vision boards and kind of show you how to upgrade your vision board through digital vision boards with Canva and Pinterest. So as I was outlining this video for digital vision boards in Canva and Pinterest, Spirit gave me a download and I was like, yo, let's turn this up magically. This is the Hood Botanica. We're magicians over here. So I got a download that was like, what about creating a vision jar? I hear a lot about jars on social media. A lot of people ask me how to do jars. The most common question is how to do sweetening jars to attract a mate. A lot of people are talking on social media about hexing or that's kind of like used as a threat. But today we're going to show you how to put your vision board in a jar so that you can use that to manifest as well as fusing your normal vision board practices with your ancestors and spirit guides as well as your magical practice. So most of you have probably already made a vision board before. If you've never ever made a vision board before there are guides articles all over especially YouTube where you can kind of get an overview process of how to make a vision board even Oprah has a master class discussing vision boards so we're not gonna get into the reason vision boards work or traditional vision boards as much because like I said, most of you have already done them and there's so many resources where you can get some great info on how to do a traditional vision board if you've never done one. If you're like me and you've been doing vision boards for a couple of years, I feel like I needed to turn them up a little bit. I love them and vision boards are really great because I feel like it brings in an arts and crafts aspect. You can create this visual representation of your goals in your home. And I actually have manifested a lot through past vision boards. Now, whether you're new on your magical path or you've been doing your works for a while, maybe you've been feeling like it's time for an upgrade with your traditional vision board process. So with traditional vision boards, you usually get a foam board. Mine is really big, so I just got this from the dollar store. Some type of glue stick or tape, a magazine or two, a pair of scissors, and you basically would go through and find pictures, words, and things that represent your goals and things you wanna manifest. But as you can see, the thing with magazines is they're kinda of limited to whatever the advertisers pretty much wanna go with. So you might spend a lot of time looking through a lot of magazines, working on getting your vision, 
which is why I like doing digital vision boards or at least bringing in somewhat of a digital aspect to your physical vision board so that you can really tailor it to your goals and aspirations. Quick disclaimer about how I feel about all vision boards, whether you do a physical, a digital, or you try the vision jar spell, or some tips that I wanna give for vision boards. The first tip I have would be to set the mood beforehand, okay? Don't sit down and start making your vision board when you're all upset, you're out of your vibration, or you're not feeling well. Get into your good feeling zone, take some time for yourself, bring your crystals near, light a candle, maybe some incense, spray some Florida water, pour up your favorite drink, and get in your real good feeling mode before you sit down to do this. Once you get in your good feeling mode, the second tip I have would be, instead of jumping right into creating your vision board, would to do a brainstorm on paper and just kind of really focus on and write down and kind of structure what you wanna put on your vision board. You can divide it up by sections, personal, business, what have you, but write out a list of the goals that you want to accomplish so that when you're looking for pictures online, it's quick, it's easy, and it's focused. The time frame for your vision board should be about a year. You might have big goals for your five and 10 year goals, maybe two or three years down the line even, but focus in on the goals that are tangible within this year. As a reminder, vision boards are meant to work on your subconscious where change happens. Whether you have a physical vision board, putting it in a prominent place before you leave the house, or you use your digital vision board, which you'll have 24 or seven access to. Looking at it regularly while you're visualizing and especially activating it magically, as I'll show you with the vision jar spell, is where change is gonna start happening throughout the year. Another tip I have would be to update your vision board periodically not only maybe halfway through the year or every quarter, but also on your birthday. The last tip I have is make sure you're specific on your vision board. Putting money on your vision board is not specific. Putting $100,000 on your vision board is specific. So let's get into the benefits of digital vision boards. First, as I said, you have 24 seven access when you need your vision board the most. It's great that you're gonna have your vision board hung up at home and your in your privacy, but when you're at work or talking to someone that may be a little bit discouraging or just feeling discouraged yourself while you're out and about, having the access to your digital vision board while you're away from home, I think is really vital in this digital world we live in. It's really easy to update throughout the year on your birthday and everything. You can still print images or print your digital vision board, which we're gonna do today, and you have a lot more options and details than your traditional magazine. So let's head over to the computer and give you a quick overview on your digital vision boards. After that, we're gonna get into the vision jar spit. So now that we're over here on the computer, I'm gonna show you my top three websites for upgrading or enhancing your physical vision board or your digital vision board, all right? So like we were saying before, magazines are kind of limited to the words, pictures, and ideas that you wanna place on your physical vision board. So whether you're doing a vision board for your wall or a digital vision board, these sites will help upgrade them, okay? So the first site is Google, of course. Now I'm gonna use the example of manifesting a new house while we're doing this screen share, but most of you have used Google and you know how it works. So if you're looking to manifest a house this year and you wanna put that on your vision board, one tip that I'm gonna talk about later with your vision board is specificity and getting specific with what you want on your vision board, whether physical or digital. So just don't type in house because obviously once you type in house and you go to images you're gonna get a range of different houses now based on what you like you can grab look through grab a picture that you like but i would recommend getting into interiors even what you want your kitchen to look like and as you can see with google you're gonna get i mean pages and pages and pages and pages of different ideas based on what you search. So try to get your search specific in whatever you're looking for to create the mood that is gonna help you manifest. The second website I recommend is Pinterest. 
What I love about Pinterest is Pinterest is a little bit more curated. Most people think Pinterest is a social media site, but it's actually a search engine. And it's actually the number three search engine behind Google and YouTube. So I like using Pinterest because like I said, it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. It's curated by Pinterest users. And then your homepage automatically gives suggestions and photos and decor ideas based on what you've already searched. So Pinterest is a really good place to get images. Another thing I love about Pinterest is if you were to type in something like kitchen decor in the search, not only are you gonna get ideas for kitchen decor, but if you click one of the little tabs up here, you can search and kind of like narrow down your search. And then as you look through Pinterest, it's also going to give you links to blog posts and other content created by Pinterest users that are actually going to give you actionable steps to get to this place. So once you manifest your place, you'll be able to have, for instance, 65 brilliant kitchen cabinet organization tips and ideas. You can use Pinterest not only to grab pictures for your vision board, but you can also use it to curate the steps and the tips from other Pinterest users that are gonna help you once you manage. Another thing I love about Pinterest is the opportunity to use it as a digital vision board, okay? So for instance, if I go to my profile, and by the way, follow us on Pinterest at The Hood Botanica, I'm gonna be bringing in more information, adding more pins, and really curating the information that you guys wanna talk about in places that you want. And speaking of that, like I said, what I love about Pinterest is you can create different boards, okay? If you go to boards, you can create a board that says, let's say vision board 2020, keep it secret so nobody's in your business and automatically it's gonna tell you to save some new pins for your board right here. There's tons of people talking about vision boards, writing articles about vision boards. So if you ever need any ideas or you don't know how to do a vision board or you just want another perspective, you can also look here, but I'm not gonna use any of that for my vision board. When you press this plus sign right here, you can add a section or create a pin. So if you put add section now you can break down your digital vision board by business, personal, spiritual, whatever goals you have that are in different categories, you can add different sections to your vision board. Then search through Pinterest and add the pins that support your vision. You can access your digital vision board on Pinterest 24 seven, download the app on your phone and add and edit and stay inspired on the go. The third website I recommend to upgrade your digital vision board is a website called Canva. And Canva is mainly a graphic design website. Canva is a site that I use to create my digital vision board two years ago. So with Canva, and it's a free site, you can upgrade to different things. With canva.com, you can create all types of different designs from prints, animated social media, media presentation. Now this isn't a Canva tutorial and my roommate actually has a video on how to create your digital vision board in Canva, which I will link below when it's ready. So if you really want to break down and go in with like all the logistics of Canva, I'll link that and you can go to that. And if you want me to create a Canva tutorial for your social media graphics and things like that, comment below and let me know just so that I have that on my content list. But for right now, I'm just gonna show y'all real quick that Canva is a great option for your vision board. So let's hop over to my 2017 vision board and use that as a template for our vision jar spell. So let's head over to the 2017 vision board. Back then I had a brand called Backstage Boss when I was a stylist. And I use this vision board, not really to get very, very specific, but just to create a mood and create the ground for my visual vision board. So we have, you know, a picture of a car, we have some goddesses, we have beach serenity, a couple of different elements here just to kind of start off the vision board. And then what I love about this is that you can download the Canva app or email this to yourself and simply put it on your phone home screen to keep you motivated or you can print this out and put this in the middle of your physical vision board and then add other elements whether it be words from magazines or from google and pinterest like i just showed you canva makes editing and doing your vision board very very user friendly some of these elements are within canva themselves other elements are from google that i uploaded but this is a way to create more of a collage style vision board and you can really let your imagination go wild with what you got going on 
and Canva is a great site to use for other graphic design purposes for your brand or social media or anything you got going on. Definitely since I did this vision board, a lot of things have changed. I'm not really too worried about the car anymore. So give me a couple seconds. I'm just gonna move some stuff around so that we can upgrade this for the next part of the video. What I know y'all been waiting for, jars, 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 jars. Everybody all over the internet talking about jars. One of the first things y'all ask me about is sweetening jars to attract a mate, how to do a jar spell, honey jars. I mean, it's literally a Facebook threat that, you, that people throw jars at people like, I'ma put this witch in a jar. You're asking me about all that stuff, but what you need to be learning is how you're going to put your vision board in your jar to manifest something for your life, okay? Now, jars are a form of container magic, and like I said, you can use jars for works for yourself, for other people, for sweetening, for left-hand work, and all types of work, which we're not going to get into today. The reason I think my guides handed this idea to me, and there's other videos about it when I looked it up after the fact, but the reason I felt like my guides handed me this while I was outlining is because number one, our vision boards need our magical touch. And then number two, with a jar, it's something that you work continuously. So with traditional vision boards, you see it while it's up, but after a while it does fall into the background. But with the vision jar, it's gonna be something that sits on your altar with your ancestors and something that you work regularly. So one of the ways to work your jar is by shaking it. So you can go ahead and shake the contents while you're looking at your vision board. And another way to activate it on a regular basis would be to burn a candle on the top or even just a tea light candle whenever you need motivation on a day that's meaningful meaningful to you or you're just thinking about your visions your goals and planning them out so my recommendations for the jar vision jar spell I'm just putting it in here so that it doesn't get dirty now this is not in any particular order of importance consult your guides and your intuition in constructing your actual jar I'm just showing you how I do things my recommendation would be to add any elements that support your vision and your vision board you're the one that went through and know your specific goals so I'm gonna do it based on my little example and you can adjust accordingly so first and foremost I usually put like some form of dirt or crystals to ground my jar I have some red carnelian for courage and that root chakra energy to ground me throughout the year. Of course, we're going to put in some black tourmaline for protective crystals. And as you're going through this process, of course, we have the incense going and cleansing as we work. And whatever music, affirmations, or anything you need to motivate you throughout, go ahead and put that on. And make sure your phone is on Do Not Disturb so that you can really focus in and hone in on what you're working to manifest. So we put in some pyrite. We also put in some citrine, which absorbs negativity, helps clear negative people, helps your, helps your solar plexus, also is wealth attracting. It helps strengthen intuition as well. So we have our crystals in there, grounding our jar. And baby, from there, it's really up to you. We printed out our vision board. Okay, so quick example of what we got going on. I want to manifest, this is for the Hood Botanica specifically, so I want to manifest more travel. You know, we got the bag on there. I got a little picture of me on there. You can add a picture of yourself to personalize or personal effects. I have a screenshot of us doing tarot readings. We have the YouTube up here. We got some sleep coin and digital goals. We have Empress in the middle. We have an Ankh. We got our rent. You know, we got we got basically some things that represent, and if this is a remix from the 2017 version, but some things have changed and some things haven't. Before, the car was in the middle, and right now I'm not really worried about manifesting a car. The most important thing to me is traveling and getting experiences now, so I've, I can see where I've grown. And also, this is just an example for the video, to be honest with you. I'm going to go in, really manifest, and really do my thing, and really take time 
and go through everything that I want because number one, it ain't nobody business what's on your vision board and what you're looking to manifest. That's another tip for manifestation is really keeping your mouth shut is what I've learned and working with your ancestors. So this is just an example that we're doing for the video, but this is not too far off from the things that I do want, right? Just like with a petition, I would take the printed version of your vision board. And if you want, you can go ahead. I have my gratitude oil, my fifth pinnacle of mercury road opener, Solomonic road opener oil, and my prosperity oil here. And I'm just going to go ahead and anoint our vision board with oil right in the middle. Some people might tell you to anoint all four corners or anoint north, south, east, and west, the four cardinal directions, and anoint the middle, whatever you feel called to do. Or some I'm gonna anoint Empress Makeda with the fifth pinnacle of mercury oil. And as with any petition, when you're working on manifesting, you fold the paper towards you to attract to you. I like to turn it clockwise, attracting to you, fold it towards you clockwise. One more again. So you can go ahead and add your vision board, cleanse it with some smoke, and then add your vision board to your jar. You can add any rainwater, charged water, or like I said, the Rose of Jericho water to your jar. Any other elements that might represent ancestry or your goals. I'm also going to put in some clear quartz because clear quartz is a really great crystal that you can attune to anything. So I'm going to have that charge up the vision board gonna add some frankincense resin frankincense tear resin if you like you can actually add a petition a written petition or the list that we made before where you wrote out all your goals and planned your vision boards can go in there too as a petition you can add in some money as an offering here I have some cowrie shells both natural and gold plated cowrie shells represent that wealth ancestral connection protection and then of course we can't forget our herbs and what herb you choose will be based on what you're looking to bring in i would recommend attractive herbs like roses orange or almonds herbs or roots and protective above all because you want to protect your vision you want to protect your goals and what you got going on so here we have some roses and a couple of rows of jericho leaves from the last video for more love attracting friendships attracting and sweetening our goals protecting our goals bringing in that power from rosa jericho that protection from rosa jericho Ashe. We're gonna put in some elderberry from Napoli Naturals out here in Los Angeles, a black owned apothecary. This thing got that sickness out of me, but elderberry is also used for protective cleansing works and things like that. So I'm adding in some elderberry to protect me from not only physical sickness, but spiritual vibes. And I'll put all the links below to their Instagram and everything like that so you can check them out. I'm also gonna add in some dried hibiscus. Hibiscus are great for love drawing, attracting passion, good for divination and dream magic. And hibiscus is one of the flowers that I associate with Empress Makeda and King Solomon. We're gonna add in some ginger for not only protection, but also that speed and that heat to bring our goals to us in a quick manner. We're going to add in a cinnamon stick for that action, protection, money drawing, among other things. And don't forget, on our website, we have an ebook called Herbs, Oils, and Crystals by Intention, which groups herbs for love, protection, money, cleansing, and healing. We basically grouped in the most common herbs, oils, crystals in one place so that you have a handy list, basically from what the tribe was asking me the most about. So I'm going to link the ebook down below so that that you can go ahead and grab that handy guide so you'll know exactly what will be for what. A second ebook is coming out, so also comment down below on what other properties that you'd want grouped together. We've already did love and self-love, like I said, protection, cleansing, healing, and money. So what other properties would you want in the Herbs by Intention ebook 
part two. Let me know. Also gonna add some Angelica, which I'm always almost out of. Angelica is healing. It brings in the energy of the angels and highly, highly protective. And then from there, I'm probably gonna add some Solomon seal roots. We can go ahead and add in that fifth pinnacle of mercury oil, which is which I call the Solomonic Road Opener to definitely boost everything. And consult your guides, trust your intuition on what else needs to be in your vision jar for the year, especially herb wise. You can still add things like honey to make your goals stick to you, molasses. I just didn't want to get the nice cloths all, all messed up with all the liquids and stuff, but use your imagination and consult your guides. So when you're all set, done, and ready to activate your jar, you can of course cleanse it with some incense, verbally speak your intentions into the jar, whether it be psalms, affirmations, whatever you're into. Part of that is imbuing it with your energy. Oh baby. We can't forget the high John root now. We can't forget the high John Conquer root right at the top. My favorite way to activate any jar spell is with a pillar candle like this. The color will depend on what you're looking to achieve. I'm looking for healing, success, growth, but you can choose a candle based on what you're specifically looking to focus on for your year. Remember, this was my business example. That's why I chose the green one. So when it comes to jar work, one tip that people always ask me is how to get the candle to stay and make sure it stays there without causing some type of fire hazard. The key to that would be to get a flame source, light the bottom and allow the wax to drip on the jar and then quickly stick the candle to the jar. From there, you can dress your candle as your guides suggest. I usually carve my intention or my name going upwards on the candle. I didn't do that just now because it does create a mess. But on our website, we do have a quick burn freebie video that shows you step by step how I dress my pillar candle. So you can check below for that link and get more in depth, but I didn't want to mess up the candle. So check out that video, it's completely free. So from here, I'm just gonna add some oil, some of my fifth pinnacle of mercury oil, my gratitude oil, and I only add a little bit. On Instagram, you know, you see people adding a whole bunch of things and creating huge fires, and that's not really my ministry. I think a little goes a long way, and I'm not really doing it for the gram. And then you can roll or sprinkle whatever appropriate herb on your candle. I'm putting some tobacco as an offering and some calendula for healing. Up to you what you wanna do. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and light the candle. So I hope this helped. I hope this helps you add some magic into your traditional vision board process. Let me know how you like it below and let me know if it works out for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with someone who you think needs it. And I wish all your goals plus more blow up and come to fruition for you and for the good of all involved. Ashe.